Hello, my sweets, and welcome to today's tutorial. Today, we're going to learn to draw a chibi body. So, let's get started. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw a. I guess it's just a circle. This part isn't too important, but I like to keep track of where my drawing is going to go. So, I know that the chibi body won't come out of this parameter here. Okay, then we're gonna draw some more circles. We're gonna draw. A circle near the top and then two circles of about the same size if you want you can get a ruler and make sure but it doesn't have to be too precise and we're gonna stack them up like a snowman or like dongo on a stick <laughs> it looks like dongo anyways yes this will help us to make the body and this circle up here is going to be the head and these two circles will be the rest of the body. What we're going to do first, what we're going to do next now that we have this is we're going to divide this top one almost in half. This side is smaller than this side and the line is tilting a little bit to the left. And then we're going to draw a line tilted again at about the one quarter or one third mark of this circle. And this doesn't have to be really precise. We're gonna end up erasing all this in the end and we're gonna spend the whole drawing refining it because this is just our guideline sketch. All right, now that we have that, let's draw a big triangle with a flat top coming down to the halfway point of this bottom circle. Now we can erase these two circles. Alright, now divide the triangle down the center. Okay, I'm going to erase some of these guidelines now. So, a lot of how to draw manga books show drawing, at, drawing characters. Uh, you measure them by doing by seeing how many heads tall they are and this chibi is one two and a half heads tall just some thing to keep in mind if you don't want to draw out all the circles just remember that this chibi is going to be roughly two and a half heads tall all right now we can begin on some more detail Let's erase this line here. Alright, find the halfway up point of this triangle. Draw a line to indicate it. This is going to be the waist. And now we will draw a small circle at the top. This will be the chest. Alright, connect the chest to the waist with two lines that curve in. Then we can erase these outer guidelines. And at the edge here, we'll draw two circles. These are the shoulders. And we'll draw the arms coming out a slope or an arch coming out from the shoulders to about the waistline. All right, time for the legs. Coming down from the waist, draw two more arches curving in a little bit below this triangle and these are the legs. Now we can erase these guidelines and start putting in even more detail. Alright, so our aim is to make this drawing look really 3D. So when we draw the lower part of the body here, we're going to then erase this and draw it as a half circle, a very curved line. We'll draw inside of the lower body here sort of like a swimsuit and then this will show us how thick the legs need to be so drawing a leg which is just two lines that connect at the bottom with a um, curve and we'll do the same for this side remember to make it follow the 
shape of this line here and then following the shape of that line we will then add the lower leg okay the pose looks a little weird right now but we are going to fix this drawing this is just the basics and this is going to be refined a whole lot so don't worry about this odd cowboy walk stance let's continue we will shave off some of the upper body here just a line following the angle of the waist and now we can do the arms chibi arms are very thin because a chibi body is based off of a child's body they will look a little bit pudgy the legs will be slightly bowed and the arms will be small and also pudgy because pudgy is so cute like a little marshmallow okay these are the arms broken up into segments to make it easier for us later on now we can erase a whole lot of these guidelines all right time for the best part the face what we're going to do is we're going to start at this line here which marks the eye level of the face and we're going to draw a curve, gentle curve out and this is our sweet little chibi cheek. We'll do the same on this side but less pronounced. And now we have the basic shape of a chibi face. For the eyes, start at this eye line here and try not to let the oval go too far over it and just draw an oval right in the center. Let's do the same on this side. And then erase these center lines so that we can draw the eyes without too many problems. Alright, now we're going to draw a curve above it. Coming down a whole lot, this is the upper eyelid. Let's do the same on this side, mirror imaging it, and add a hook on the end. Alright, this is beginning to take shape. Let's draw in some eyebrows. On a babyish face, the eyebrows will be very high above the eyes. So just some cute little thick eyebrows. You can do the just line style here if you want, but I prefer these. Alright, let's go back to drawing the body now. So, uh, let's add in some very, very slight curves. Coming out over the chest, in at the waist here, and out again when we get to the legs. Let's erase these shoulder joints so that we can put in the neck more easily. And the chibi neck should be very, very thin. Even though the rest of the body is pudgy, you don't want to call attention to the neck, so make it very, very thin. And that's all there is for the neck. <laughs> Pretty simple. Let's move on to the arms. I'm just going to darken the edges a little and erase the guidelines. And then let's put in the hand. So the hand will be about the shape of an oval here. And the way to draw a chibi hand is much easier than drawing a full size manga character's hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to be drawing it as if <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're going to be drawing it as if she has it flat out like she's posing so we have this segment here which will be the thumb and these will be the fingers draw a small hook for the thumb and then draw some thick fingers I'll erase the guidelines so that you can see it better This is the index finger, 
and another finger behind it. Alright, let's do the same on this arm. Actually, let's shake things up a bit. Because our body is re rarely symmetrical unless we're carefully posing, her hands should not look exactly the same on both sides. So, I'm going to do the first finger the same way, but then they will start to go up. Alright, now to fix these admittedly rather strange legs. So, we're going to bring the place where they meet up a little. And then we're going to curve it in on the inside, but on the outside, at this knee joint, it'll come out a little before curving sharply in. And then connect in a tiny little foot. There are chibi styles where the feet are very big, but in this video, I'm going to draw them with the small dainty feet. And let's do it again on this side. So now let's draw the mouth. The shape we're going to be doing is like this. Straight line on top, and then we draw an incomplete circle. It does not meet in the middle, and then a curved line up near the top. When you shade this in, you can see that it is a wide open, happy mouth. Let's apply that to her face. And sometimes you can add a nose to your chibi character, but you might want to check and make sure that the nose doesn't detract from the other aspects of the character. In most cases it does, so I just leave it out. I don't draw the nose at all. And then at the bottom of the face, we can add a small ear if you like. And that is it for the chibi body, but we're not done yet. I want to show you how to draw a really cute and really easy chibi hairstyle. And this is going to be in the three segments pattern. So what that means is we will draw three main strands of hair for the bangs. So let's start. We can see that this is the center line here. So from the center line, we'll draw one strand which is an elongated football kind of shape. Then we'll draw another strand originating from that same point. And one more. This one will be much larger because we don't want it to be too symmetrical. Then we'll erase around it so that it can be seen very easily. All right, now we can put in the other parts of the hair, the strands near the ears, the back of the hair, which is a line that comes out over the head very high. And now, since she's such a cute chibi girl, she needs pigtails. So let's give her some. We'll draw the little bands here. And then let's draw a long curving line. And another. It looks a little bit like a crescent moon or a banana, whichever you like. And same thing on this side. And on the top of the head, we'll draw this cute little strand poking straight up. Now we're ready to add detail to this ponytail. I won't go into a lot of detail about it here. I'll do a little, but I will be doing a more in-depth hair tutorial later. So as you can see, we are drawing strands to curve around this shape. Then we'll curl it up at the end. Alright, let's do 
something similar to the other side. Alright, that is it for this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And don't forget to leave a comment telling me what you thought. And be sweet and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my new videos. I will see you guys later. Bye!